All right. So once again, ah, dang, we got a not too good of a hand. <laughs> but um, what's up, man? It's your boy Young Preach, aka Pastor Magic. And you know what? I might just keep this, even though I don't have a red source. I'm just gonna keep it. Hopefully, it don't bite me in the butt. Hopefully, I don't embarrass myself. But I am playing one of my favorite decks um, that I built. I'm pretty sure there's probably some similar, but nothing quite like this. Of this uh, red, white humans uh, joint here. And let me go ahead and pull up my. Oh, it's not letting me. Whatever. That sucks. I was going to put the preview screen up so you guys can see the cards up close, but I'll just lift this up here. But yes, I played this deck. Um, I've been playing this deck Friday nights for about two months now. And I played a, uh, a game day event with this deck. And it did pretty daggone good. I think I went like three and two. Um, so I mean, you know, it's not the greatest, but you know, like I said, I only been playing for like eight months, so it did, you know, quite well compared to some of my other nights. So I said, hey, you know, why not stick with it? Um, if it doesn't go too slow here. Right. And I'll and I'll try to explain little by little on what I want to happen. As you see a uh, bloodlust here. Um he's usually my play one. You know, uh turn one, turn two is a uh, honored crop captain, turn three garrison, that's a uh, thirteen swing on turn turn three already. You know, so I mean you know, it's it's not a long shot, cause you know I'm running four of each, but you know it's it's definitely tricky with the land, cause you know you're running two, so you have to make sure, you know, you're you're hitting your lands. But other than that, it's a it's a great combo. All right, so I got Glory Bound, which is amazing on its own. Lieutenant's gonna follow up right behind. Drop some counters on these fools. Uh, probably not. Who is he? Okay, yeah. Of course. And that's a, a good thing and a bad thing about having someone like Glory Bound initiate is he's great for you. Especially if you can get him on the ground swinging at least twice. If you can get two swings with his uh exert joint, you know, you're doing pretty good. But he's such a removal magnet. It's really hard. But, you know, it kind of frees up your other guys. You know, so. Uh, okay, so drop the counter. Uh, definitely would have swung, but he did himself a favor. Now, turn four. I need a, let's see. I guess it just depends on what he does. He's still setting up. I just need him not to kill nothing. <laughs> really? Okay, cool. Just, okay. Nice. You can go ahead and keep that. Because you're definitely going to be blocking with it next turn. And this is why I love this deck here. This is why I love this deck. Okay, we're going to drop Battlements, which is actually a uh, a meld between Garrison and the land here. It actually kind of comes up quite quick, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Right now, we're going to drop Garrison. And Bloodlust, man, people be slipping on this card, man. I hardly see anybody play him. Why? I don't know. People are picky. But you go ahead and tap him. Give a creature haste. 
Now watch. Watch this. It's going to be beautiful. Go ahead. Create some tokens. Uh, that is Lieutenant. Bumps up to. And when I have Honored Crop Mate or Honored Crop Captain out there, oh my gosh. He definitely better take out somebody next turn or he's he's going to lose. He is going to lose. You better do himself a favor and uh, better block one of these fools. Well, swing with four, five, six, seven, eight. Swing for eight, turn four. That's pretty decent. Definitely not the best that this deck can do, but it's pretty daggone decent. Next turn, I'm going to drop Honor Crop Captain, burn whatever creature he throws on the ground, unless it's, you know, three or at least, you know, four or greater. But other than that, him doing that, eh, he can drop like a uh, Hydra maybe, I don't know. If he drops a Hydra, man, it's good. He hasn't dropped a land, so. Okay. So, that's alright. So, I guess I can hit. And this is, you know, one thing about this deck. I put four shocks, uh, the four of braids. And like three indecisive flows or something like that. Um, make sure I can hit them in the face if I need to. You know, I got my ruins here. Because a lot of time I struggle with the last five of, of their life. You know what I'm saying? So this definitely, you know, kind of kicks that. Actually, and you're probably wondering why do I got this land uh, handwire battlements? This is why. Watch. I'm going to teach you something. They don't call me past the past the magic for nothing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, pay one, one red, target creature, give my captain haste, pay a red. Got to pay a life. It's cool though. It's worth it. Now I don't have to tap my bloodlust. I can go ahead and utilize him to swing. You know what I'm saying? Now watch this. Lieutenant, of course, is going to bump up an extra two. And this is the important part. You want to do the stack correctly. So go ahead, do a uh, crop captain first so that Garrison's uh, ability triggers first. Because if you do it the other way around, the new tokens are not going to benefit off of uh, crop captain's ability. I learned that the hard way, but it's good, you know. We good now. I know he he probably going to scoop right now. He's he's taking his time reading this. It ain't looking good, jump. So all yeah, there you go. So he scoops. So all creatures, all attacking creatures get plus 1 plus 0 to end a turn. So I'm swinging with 3 uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25. Oh, I think he quits the game. Shoot. Um, Let's go ahead and go to the next one. That kind of sucks. And, I mean, you know, it's it's definitely one of those decks that, you know, um, that is definitely hard to deal with. Um, I got four always watchings. Um, my deck that I play on Friday nights, I have four or three glory bringers. Um, just for the sake of, you know, me playing online, you know, I don't have the, uh, uh, you know, the luxury to put in four glory bringers. Or the, uh, the better red, white tap or dual lands. You know, I got the ones that come in tapped um but it's cool though as you see it works you just gotta be a little bit more patient with the lands and know when to keep a hand 
You know, so I think that's the important part. And normally with uh this, it's only one one set of cards that uh are double is uh always watching. So normally I would like to have one red land and at least two planes so I can make sure I drop my always watchings. Uh, with my other deck, you know, I got Glorybringer that's double red, so that's a little bit stressful on a mana. But, you know, if you can get it out, it's worth it. Alright, so, turn two, I wish I had my captain, but I don't. So, I'll drop this here. I'm going to go about, I'm going to throw out Glorybound. Not exert them, because next turn, I'm going to have always watching out and exert the hell out of Mr. Bound here. You know what I'm saying? And that alone is just beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if you ever seen that. Hopefully, you can witness that now, but always watching with the exert creatures. Oops. That just so I'm getting too, uh, too cut up in here. Okay. Just regular attack. Hit him for three. Don't want to get too greedy here. Or even always watching in uh, Glory Brain. Which, man, that's, that's usually game. You know what I'm saying? It's really rare that I lose a game with that combination. I mean, it's not rare, but you know what I'm saying? All right, that's, that's it. All right, pimp. That's, that's on you. Let's throw out our white. Let's go ahead and fix up our hand here. So I have a better idea what's going on. They're always watching. Swing. Dessert. What is that? Swinging for five, six, seven? Oh, yeah. Dang. Come on, man. You just. He was about to get hit a little bit, bruh. Come on, don't quit. This is a sideboard. I know you got some. You look like you run a control deck. It's cool. It's cool, fam. All right, so now you can see my sideboard. And once again, disclaimer, disclaimer. I've only been playing eight months. So, you know, I'm still, I think the hardest part for me is setting up a, a proper sideboard. So, uh, this is what I'm running here. Two extra white uh, planes for all this extra white spells here. Frag two fragmentized for enchantments and artifacts less than four. Immortal Glare for, you know, your mono red aggro. Stasis Snare for your big creatures, uh, your indestructibles, your gods, you know what I'm saying? Stasis Snare, cast out to help with artifacts, you know, the ones, uh, the gods gift. And uh, this little sucker here that I just remember I had, it does creatures and enchantments. So, you know, if I if I don't really know what to do, you know, I just throw them both. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Blazing Volley, which is another card, one of my favorites that people are sleeping on, is uh deals one damage to each creature your opponent controls. So, I mean, if they're running like an aggressive cat deck, you know what I'm saying? Boom, shoot them all down. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, it's pretty decent. It probably could be better. You know, if you have any ideas, you know, definitely uh, leave some comments. You know what I'm saying? Don't be shy. Um, Going massively jank today. That's cool, man. That's cool. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got here. No white. Now that's an issue. Uh, it looks like he he might be playing like some sort of control, maybe or teamer energy, whatever that is. I'm a mulligan. Yeah, this is way better. Oh, I wish I had another white. Another planes. I'm gonna keep it though. 
Um, with this deck, I'm running 23 lands, um, which is the thing I kind of been going up and down, like one up and down. Because it seems like at some points, it seems like I'm never running in, you know, dropping my lands at least until turn five. If I can get five lands in a row after turn five, that's usually pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my highest drop on here is three. You know what I'm saying? So if I can get at least a turn five without missing a land drop, that's good but sometimes it seems like I, I struggle with that but then when I add like 24 lands man I'll just be seeing lands all day which isn't you know good for aggro you know what I'm saying so it's, it's definitely hard alright let's see and I'm definitely gonna do like a, a tech deck this joint here because I really think this deck is definitely underrated um you know I'm pretty sure there's people who can play this deck better than me you know what I'm saying it's not the cards it's it's the driver you feel me um I might want to just burn his creature I think he really wants that land. And I know, you know, when I'm playing like an energy and I have like a servant, those lands are important. You know what I'm saying? You just don't have servant of the conduit just chilling in your deck for no reason. Sometimes you're counting on her to be a, that extra land. So I think it's best to just take her out when you can and, you know, proceed. The, the cub. Okay, cool. All right, pass the turn. Don't pass the turn. Ah, not a white. I was really hoping for. That. Uh, let's see. I do want to drop Glory Bound. Really hoping I pull a white or or a planes next turn that I can drop. Always watching exert. Have an exert party on this dude's face. Is this dude real king? Oh, that sounds like that Street Fighter dude. Real. Ah man. I gotta look that up. I'm a bit of a nerd, too. I mean, I'm playing Magic. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. But, you know, I'm, I'm definitely a nerd, bro. But, um, let's see. I'm afraid he's going to drop something in my face. What you got? Oh, Samet. No, he didn't. He dropped the Samet. He's about to kill both my creatures. Ooh, that's nasty. That's nasty, bro. All right. Ooh, I definitely wasn't thinking about that. Normally, people don't play Salmon. So I'm actually kind of excited that he dropped the Salmon on me. Now I get to see what I've been doing to folks this whole time, you know? I'm afraid that's not going to save him, though. Unless he can get a creature with haste that has vigilance. Cause Samet gon' definitely die next turn. Unless he drops like two, three creatures right now. I don't know, we'll find out. <clears throat> Missed the land drop. That sucks. Don't let it be a god. Don't let it be the little insect fool. I just lost again. Oh. 
Untap target land you control. It becomes a. Until when? Until your next turn. Okay. All right. So this is definitely different than, you know, the Samet build that I made. So he definitely didn't watch the video. But, you know, it's probably better. We'll see. What's her second ability? From your graveyard. All right. So that, so that this is pretty decent. It's all right. I definitely like the three drop one way better. Ooh, double strike. Hey, I'm gonna let that fool hit me. Go ahead, pal. Swing away. <clears throat> that, that double strike is no joke, I tell you that. I, I won't shut up about that ability. Alright, so what I'm gonna do. really need some land I want to drop Thraven Inspector throw him out cash in my uh, clue and just start digging or I throw Thalia's Lieutenant let him get bigger yeah that's probably what I'll do uh, let's see Alright, so old boy is gonna swing. Uh at Nissa. Nah, she needs to die. Okay, I'm gonna swing at Samet here. Oh my mom, I thought her name was Samut, but I guess it's Samet, whatever. Alright, and then my tokens are just going to swing at Nissa. And then Thalia's Lieutenant. I don't know if it's a she or he. I don't know. Um, It's, going to, it's just going to get bigger, so that's always a plus. Uh, they're going to definitely need more than lands to stop this whooping. As long as they don't throw another salmon out and swing with double strike, then uh, Mathalia is gonna have to die. But you know, it's the name of the game, you know. Now, Jerome can't save everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, one more sentence that might be all right, cool. Thank you, thank you for that. No, don't let it be salmon. Come on, okay, no, he's. Yeah, it's it's salmon. <coughs> or not. Why do you tap why do you tap lands? Three, four, five. Six, five. Oh, get out of town. This fool got all the planeswalkers, man. This is definitely a different kind of build. I haven't seen something like this. Um, what's what's her abilities? Where you spraying them? X damage, loyalty four. Yeah, he's gonna smite Garrison. All to all creatures, get out of here! All right. I thought it said to target creature. Was it tar creatures? Oh, to each creature. Dang. I've been sleep sleeping on Sandra. That's that's a nice little ability right there. All right, Thraven, go out there and do your thing, man. You're going to have to take one for the team. Uh, 
Y'all nigga cash is saying ASAP. Brother Garrison. And this is what I'm saying. I mean, you know, I, I know everyone thinks it might be excuses. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes when people are having land issues, it's definitely a land issue. And that's what's saving you. That's the only thing saving this dude right now is my land issues. Which I'm I'm running freaking 23. People call me crazy for running 24. <sighs> okay, so do I take this? No. I have no reason to keep. Oh, he's, he's not gonna. All right. You think he'd be a little bit more aggressive, you know? Destroy target artifacts. Mm. This little thing over here is a little scary. I might just say freak it, smite that real quick and try this again. I don't want him to be having so sneaky ideas, man. I'm just going to take that fool out. Shoot. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and end this turn, man, and just, I don't know if it's too late for a white land. I mean, it's never too late for, you know, land drops, but I don't know if just always watching is going to save me right now. Ah, uh, shoot. Freaking cashed in on this, uh, now is that good i think he was doing pretty decent man like i don't know we'll see what he got for me man like i mean definitely drawing cards is cool ah there she is this one wants to be running like a super france type deck Yeah, I'm definitely ain't afraid of no plants. You know what I'm saying? At least little ones. Dang, man. Where is my lens? <sighs> or at least my haste. Where's my bloodlust? That'll definitely kind of get things going a little, a little faster. All right. Let's drop Garrison. Let's go ahead and get that plane out the way. And this might just be with any kind of deck, you know what I'm saying? If things ain't cracking, you have land issues, you know what I'm saying? Certain cards that you definitely, you know, count on are not being pulled. You know, it's, it's just going to just look like a bum. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, this is definitely nothing compared to the first match we just had. So, if he pulls another Samet, uh, yeah, then he's just going to... What you got? What you got? Mm. And it's Ob Nicholas. Gonna destroy my garrison. Yeah. Now I'm kind of wondering what his, what is his end game? Cause now this this is getting drawn out just way too long. Like, you know, if you're gonna beat me, man, just beat me already. Nicholas, what's his? All right, so he has a tick up one. All right, he 
put that servant in my way. I'm gonna have to just take whatever he dishes out this next turn. He definitely got land for days. Don't let it be in that one. <sighs> Dang. Oh, he's about to bounce a creature, huh? He's about to be like, all right, Kelly, start bouncing, huh? Better bounce the right one. Oh, yeah. Messed up. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You know I can haste her back out next turn. Oh, you, you, okay, he's just gonna create a whole bunch of plants, thinking that's gonna stop him. No, no. All right. Oh, now I get it. All right, so I definitely just gonna change the thing, cause uh. I need to get um, Nicholas sweating here, or he's just gonna smite some people. Or I could distract them. And how I'm gonna do that is throw two of them out. So he'd be like, oh, I gotta kill one of them and leave his bloodlust alone. Even though bloodlust is the one of the main engines of this whole deck. You know what I'm saying? Without bloodless, it just be slow. Um, she's gonna die. All she has to do is block there. Swing at Og. You swing at Og. Ah, shoot, this kind of sucks, man. Like, you know, if you're an aggro player, man, you just want to bam, bam, get in, get out. Dang, I think I'm only, I'm only running, like, what, two stasis or, uh, stouts? And that one, uh, enchantments? Nah, that doesn't even get planeswalkers, all right? Create two, one, one. All right, whatever. So he's definitely playing a Super Friends joint, which I always want to try to play. I, it looked like a fun deck. Just create a whole bunch of little, little turds to kind of block for you. The end game, I still kind of don't know. He didn't kill a creature. Um, Playing every planeswalker, huh? Come on now. Uh, let's start always watching. You know it's not going to always do what I need, but it's gonna have to do something. Swinging, uh, Nicholas. 
what was her last ultimate seven? Now, okay, here's 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 my thing. If she ultimates, then I'm going to school. If y'all don't know what her ultimate is, it's stupid. Go ahead and read that while I. Yes, yeah, it's, it's stupid. I actually bought me some copies like a while back, hoping to, you know, try to build a deck around her. It's it's always hard when you mess with three colors like that, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they're kind of kind of awkward colors, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not like red, blue, black, you know what I'm saying? But and he drew two cards. All right, if I don't get something next turn, I might just scoop just for the sake of time because if I want to win this, man, I need to definitely have enough time. Come on now, you got five cards, man. Just start dropping them. Destroy target creature. school cuz all right that's pretty good <clears throat> it was just going too slow for me like you know I'm just gonna drop more creatures down he on what swing for one at the most like man that's that's doing too much oh, this dude's gone then quit you know what I'm saying? That's kind of stupid. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my uh, my deck real quick. Um, just kind of do a brief summary of it. And uh, you, you guys tell me what you think. You know what I'm saying? All right. So can I get my screen back up? Nah, that kind of sucks. Alright, pardon me, I think it's probably best if I had this up so you guys can actually see these cards here. Alright, so, like I said, it's 23 lands. Um, oh, I forget. 23 lands, I got four of your garrison. Uh, you can't see the picture. Um, it's you tap it for colorless. Pay one tap. Uh, target creature gets haste until the end of turn. Pay five to red. Um, if you own this land and uh, garrison, you mill them together, and you got um, trouble. I've never lost a game when I pulled this out. You know what I'm saying? You get a 7-4 Trample Haste. And every time it swings, instead of 1-1 one, one, uh, Soldiers, you get 3-2 uh, Eldrazi Horrors. Not Horrors, Horrors. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, I mean, just the Trample alone usually kind of gets it in. Plus, you got 6 swinging in from the side. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that, that definitely usually does it. For me, that's what I'm running for. And plus, you know, the haste ability. Um, I don't have any creatures that naturally give haste. That that have haste. Um, but uh, you know, what I can give haste, that's that's usually pretty good. Um <clears throat> sorry about that. Running couple couple mountains, couple planes. And one of my favorites, uh, Ruins. You already know what that does. And like I say, you know, 
I got these janky little dual lands, but you know, make it make it work if you got to. It's broke man magic, remember that. Four three event inspectors. Um, uh, arguably one of the best, you know, one drops. I think it's alright. I think Bloodless might be better, but you know, can't can't argue with the masses, you know. Um I don't, I'm only running three Glory Bound Initiates. I wanted to run for uh, maybe cut like one of my burns or something, but I don't know. It, it kind of works with just three. Uh, that is Lieutenant, a key lord in one of these decks. Um, I, in my real deck, I'm either running this or Metallic Mimic. Kind of, you know, I think uh, Lieutenant might be a little better only because it gets better with the more humans you play. It gets him better. You know, you drop it, everyone else gets better. When you keep playing creatures, he gets better. You know, uh, Mimic, he only he, he just sits there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, running four crop captains, uh, all your attacking creatures get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Remember, it's zero. It's not plus one, plus one. Um, so, you know, you got to remember, you know, remember that when you're swinging in uh, so you're not caught off guard. Uh, Garrison, you already know what he does, create two 1-1 one, one red human creatures uh, uh, tapped and attacking, and they stay on the board. That's the important part. They stay on the board. You don't exile them like uh, that one creature lady. Uh, yeah. And then uh, four always watchings, because that's one of the cherries on top of the cake type feel to this deck. Um, my burn spells are definitely important, especially if you're going against a, you know, an aggro deck or even a, a mid range, you know. In this air flows, I'm usually running four, but uh, I just been running into so many uh, artifact type decks. Um, I like this one. I think it's one of the best burn spells. You can either, you know, do three damage to target creature or player, and it exiles the creature. So you know if you're doing if you're going against a uh a zombie deck, you know what I'm saying, just burn them off, you know, you don't have to see them again. Uh a braids, you know, one of the best new instants um from our de devastation, three damage to creature or destroy target artifacts. And I'm running four shocks. I mean, who who wouldn't? You you feel me? Um I think the best three now check this out. Bloodlust, turn one. Turn two, honored crop captain. Uh tap your bloodlust, swing in for three with uh Mrs. Captain here. Turn three, if you're lucky enough to get the lands correct. Turn three, drop garrison, tap bloodlust, give Harrison haste, swing in for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. So you're swinging for 10 on turn 3. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's 13 damage you've done in 2 turns. Leaving your opponent with 7. Now, when, in my deck that I run on Friday nights, I have uh, Glory Bringers. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, in that perfect world, turn 4, always watching. Then turn 5, drop Glory Bringer. That's game. Now, unless you're, you know, of course, if you're, you know, if someone kind of burns off, you know, your your crop captain, because she's only two toughness, that's the sucky part. You know what I'm saying? So normally people are going to kind of see what you're trying to do, take her out or take your bloodlust. So that kind of what makes this deck kind of weak. You know what I'm saying? It's not really strong and beefy like black green energy. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you can definitely catch people off guard real quick. You know what I'm saying? And not a lot of people can react in turn two, three like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, my cyborg, I already kind of explained it if you watched uh, this this whole video. Um, I'm probably going to do some changes. You know, I'm still trying to get the feel of, you know, properly setting up a cyborg. Like I said, if you got any, you know, tips and tricks and, and hints, definitely let me know. Don't be, you know, a weenie. And keep all the secrets to yourself. Um, but this is my deck here. And, you know, it's definitely going to fall off once rotation hits. 
like my garrison, you know what I'm saying? Always watching this gun. That is Lieutenant Thraven Inspector, you know what I'm saying? So it might turn into an exert deck. I don't know, depending on what comes out on the new set. But, you know, it's definitely not going to have this beautiful feel for it. So I encourage you uh, to just, uh, you know, create this deck if you're playing online. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's mad cheap. It's, it's probably less than five tickets, to be honest. Uh, every card on here is probably <laughs> like a penny or something. It's, it's it's pretty stupid, but it's definitely a fun competitive deck. You know what I'm saying? Watch the I I did a earlier video, like one of my first videos of this deck, and it's just smashing through people. You know what I'm saying? So definitely check it out. Um, if you watch this whole video, you know God bless your heart. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's been like well almost an hour or something like crazy, 45 minutes. Um, but definitely I appreciate. You know, you watching, you listening to me Babylon, talking to myself. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're new, you know what I'm saying, hit that like button. Uh, this is an open conversation, you know what I'm saying. So if you love magic, drop a comment down below. Um, just remember, you know, uh, shuffle thoroughly. Um, something cute after that and, you know, make it up on your own. And, uh, you know, have a good night. It's your boy Young Preach, a.k.a. Pastor Magic. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.